Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to this video. Now today is one of those days where I have very little idea of what we're going to make. I have no inspiration, no vision, no real starting point. So I think we should just jump into the books right now and start pulling out stuff that we like. Um, and then we'll sort of use those as the jumping off point of what we're going to make. I'm sure it will be cool. I just have no idea what we're going to make. So let's just jump into it and start looking through stuff. All right, so from that book, I pulled three landscapes that I thought were visually very cool. So there's this one, which I just liked like the depth of field in it. And I thought there's a lot of opportunities to put something here. And I also liked that it was sort of faded. So I feel like if we found something that was a little bit more saturated, it would really play well off that. So the other one I found is this sort of like set of jaggedy mountains. And I'm not exactly sure how I would fit something in here. We might have to have it be like something climbing or maybe something coming out of the wall. Or if I cut out some of these, it could be like weaving in and out of these, which could be cool, but I'm not sure on that. And the last one is the sort of like snowy trees. Now, I just thought this was kind of a cool picture. So I don't know if we want to have something climbing up the tree. Or, I mean, like, something could be a hammock or um, something. I don't know. I really have no idea. But I thought that these just, like, visually were cool. So I think we should keep these and then keep looking for stuff that we could add to these scenes and keep our options open about which of these we could use. Um, or if we find something else that's cool, we don't even have to use these and we'll go with that again very open in this video. I'm kind of just going with the wind and wherever it takes us, we will go there. So, but that's just what I found for now. So let's keep digging and we will find some cool more stuff. Cool more stuff. I meant more cool stuff. It's fine. Let's just do it. <laughs> All right, guys, I, you know, thought I was only going to be able to find stuff for one of these landscapes that we found, but I think that I have an idea for all three. So <laughs> let's just talk through them all. So the first one, I really, really love this sort of like faded thing. So I found this Volkswagen um, sort of van thing um in an ad and i thought it would be really cute if it was like driving around uh like on this ground down here and then i thought it would also be cute if we took a bunch of yellow flowers and arranged them like it was coming out of the van's exhaust so it was like admitting flowers because it's kind of a hippie van it's kind of like a hippie 70s sort of vibe and i also liked their yellow flowers here so it would be sort of tying all of that together I think that's a really cute idea. It's a little silly, but I kind of think that the whole vibe would work really well together and it would be like a very 70s hippie vibe. So first idea. Second idea involves these trees. Now I found a few rock climbers. So I found two pictures. This is Alex Honnell, who's like one of the most famous free climbers. So there's two of him and then another one of this girl. And then I thought maybe if these angles might not be might not work but he could be like shimmying up one of these trees or up another one and I thought maybe be cool if there was just like a bunch of people sort of climbing the trees so that is this idea which I also think is pretty good the last idea involves this and this one's probably the weirdest silliest one so I found a few um ads with like giant gemstones 
And I thought if I cut those out and sort of wedged them in the mountain, it would sort of be like they're in the mountain, which is would be kind of interesting. And then this is where it gets weird. I also found this giant cracker, which the thought maybe would be funny if I treated it the same way as the gems. So it's like gems and then one of them's a cracker, which is stupid. It's kind of a weird idea, but potentially might work. Or the other idea is to not do the gems at all and just wedge the cracker like back here. So there's a giant cracker in this sort of landscape, which might be funnier than the gems. I just thought they were really big. Um, so I don't know, This it might work kind of perfectly like that. So those are the three ideas, kind of a lot going on, but I actually think I like all three of them. So let, because let's start looking at them. And if we decide one of them's not working, we can always ditch it, throw it away or whatever. But I kind of like, we should push through all of them because I like them. So let's first do this cracker one, because now that I'm seeing it all together, I think that would be hilarious if it fat, if it fit, if we put it, <laughs> let's start with this cracker one, because I think that it would just be hilarious now that I'm looking at it more, if we shoved it between, I mean, behind these two sort of mountains and it kind of was just in the mountain. I think that that is actually a really, really funny idea. So I think let's just start cutting that out and see what it looks like. Okay, that, oh my God, come on, that is hilarious. Oh my God, it's so funny. Okay, I am totally in love with this. I think it's the perfect size. I just, it's just really, oh my God, it's so funny. I'm like so, I just, oh my God, it. I just love how this looks. I think I need to, let me clean up this edge so we got a more final piece. All right, this one, number one is done and I love it and it's perfect. So let's just put it off to the side. All right, what should we do next? Let's do this Volkswagen bug one because I think it's gonna be really cute. All right, we got our little van here. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh, wow, that's adorable. Oh my God, I can't even, it's too cute. Okay, so. I got a lot of bunch of yellow flowers and I think maybe some of them are gonna be too big, but we're gonna have to just play with it. And like, I don't know, should it be going up this hill or more flat or, no, that doesn't make sense. Actually, you know what I wanna do now is cut this out of the page so we have a better idea of the final composition. Okay, I think less is going to be more on these flowers. Um, as much as I love these bigger ones, maybe we can only do, I don't, maybe the, the, maybe the big ones don't work. So let's see what it looks like with these little ones. I think that that's sort of more the way to go. I wonder if I have any other, like that really small one. I think I need to go smaller if I am gonna add more. So I am thinking that I kind of like this new flower that I found. I like this shape the best. So I'm going to take all of these out and see what it looks like with just these four. They're really small, they're really cute. And I think that maybe it's kind of more what I had in my head in terms of like a cute exhaust flower. Is that weird? Yeah, that's weird. But let's see. Yeah, like I think, I think that that's pretty cute.
Okay, I've decided that I like the three little tiny flowers. I think that they're just really cute and I think that this is like really vintagey and kind of adorable. So I think that we're gonna call this done. I have all these other flowers that didn't need because they ended up being too big, but I think that this is really cute. Now, the last one we have is the tree climber. So let's see if we can make that work. All right, so I have three pictures of Alex here. This one I thought just kind of like fit nicely there, but it could fit, you know, somewhere else, but I kind of like it up here. This one is where I think, well, the angle of this one is very weird. So maybe it doesn't quite fit, I don't know. And then I also have this one of him looking down and I do not know where that's gonna fit. Like it doesn't really make sense anywhere. So, hmm, let's play around with this for a little bit to see what we can do. I got this one last itty bitty little Alex. We'll see if we can put him somewhere like in here or something like he's climbing in between those. <laughs> okay, I think what, what I have to do is cut some of the things so I can wedge him in. So let's do that. All right, I think that, I don't, this guy I don't think I fit, so let's take him out. I think that this is absolutely silly. I don't usually use people like this. Um, I just happen to have three pictures of Alex Honnell, which I think is kind of cool. And he's, instead of climbing rocks, he's climbing trees, which is kind of just silly. So I think the collages we made today were really fun. They're really goofy, kind of not what I normally do. Here, let's bring them all out. This one is just so funny, I can't even. It's too funny. Um, and we also got the little Volkswagen one. I just think that this was really fun. Um, I know, I think sometimes maybe when I don't have a plan, I do just a little bit funnier things, but I think that this, these were all just like super fun and they're quirky and weird. Um, and it was just kind of a relaxing, chill little day to make some collages. I hope that you enjoyed watching me sort of fumble around creating some dumb things today. So don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next Thursday. Bye.